Hi, welcome to Taste of Change for Kids. I'm Dr. Rurina Kols, and today I have a lovely guest, Hazel. How are you doing? Great, thank you. <laughs> Great to hear this. Uh, would you please introduce yourself? Hi, I'm Hazel. I'm 11 years old, and I'm going into seventh grade. Wonderful, wonderful. And you are from here, from Acton? Uh, no, I'm from Washington. You're from Washington? Yes. You're visiting us? Yes. You see? Our show will be translated <laughs> internationally. <laughs> Good for you. So, what you brought to us today? Today, I'm going to make, be making nachos with guacamole and salsa. Nachos with guacamole sounds so good. And what, what ingredients we're going to use? So, we're going to be using ground chicken, black beans, avocado, lime, tomatoes, onion, sharp white cheddar cheese, taco seasoning, water, mm -hmm. oil, and whole grain pita. Wonderful. This is a good idea. Okay, we'll talk about it. I'm proud of you that you use this. So, uh, we'll start? Yes. Okay. I'll help you to turn it on because this, this is, it is getting on very, very fast. And we need high, uh, on the high, right? Um, yes. Yes, okay, so it is getting ready very quickly, so you can already. Do you want to cut the pita for pita chips while I cook the meat? This, this is a great idea. Yes, I'll do this, if you trust me. I'll do this, of course. <laughs> Thank you. And please pay attention that uh, Hazel brought whole wheat whole grain pita it is very good choice for nachos we know that it is much better than nachos you buy uh, with all additions of starches and sugars okay so i think it's ready it is it is yes. getting hot very so go ahead all right and i'll be oil oil yes. right It is, it is getting hot so quickly. Oh, be careful. Woo! Hi, it's okay, right? Yes. You don't need to make it. Okay. How you... Do you want me to take a triangle, right? Like regular? Yes. Triangle. You see? I am getting serious a sign. Wonderful. I think eight is good, right? Like uh, one yes. more. One more. One more. Yeah. There we go. They are going to be real nachos. So first you put olive oil, then mm -hmm. chicken, and you are mixing it. Oh, guys, it smells so good already. Meat. What's this? This is taco seasoning. We're going to put it in for the one pound of chicken and put it in with two thirds cup of water. Okay, wonderful. Do you need help with this? Probably not, you're doing so well. Ooh. This is a real ta uh, taco smell comes from this seasoning. Oh yes. Ooh. Seasoning is amazing. What do you say, is it good? Yeah. Oh, it smells amazing, amazing. There's a little, a lot of chicken fat in here, so I'm not sure if we're gonna need the water. Okay, good. All right, 
I think the meat is ready. So quickly, do you need salt and pepper or it is all in the seasoning? No, how? It should be fine with the seasoning. Oh, it smells amazing. It mm -hmm. smells absolutely amazing. Yeah, I think it should be the seasoning. Maximum we can add it later. Wow! You see, you made it so quickly and I'm still cutting this. Okay, so what are you going to do next? So next I'm going to start working on the guacamole. Guacamole. I love guacamole. And avocado is very, very healthy meal for you. And don't be afraid of its uh, fats because they're very good fats. They're very healthy plant existed fats. So eat avocado, take it for lunch. It's cool. It's very good and fulfilling and you'll have more energy for studying, right? Because kids need lots of energy for studying nowadays. Yes. Do you have something after, any activities after, um, after studying? Um, I do soccer and dance. Oh, lovely. Soccer and dance, wow. This is a great way to cut avocado. So you did like this and this? Mm -hmm. It's um, easier to smash when it's in cubes. It's wonderful. I, I, I've seen how you made it. You made it so, so beautifully and easy. I'm learning a lot from Hazel today. It's so good to learn. Okay. I fit here uh, one and a half pita. That's, I just, I think it's enough. Right? Yes. So, I put it in uh, the in ordinary 444. Mm -hmm. And oven was preheated to 450 degrees, as I told me. And we put it there for about 10 minutes. Is there anything else I can do? Yes. You can begin cutting up the tomatoes into small cubes. Small cubes? Yes. And or would you be put yes? it? Okay. In that bowl. And this is going to be for our salsa. Salsa. Well, hopefully I'll do it right. Small cubes. Ah, the avocado is so beautiful, so fleshy. Why are you cooking? I, I know, like I see that you like cooking, but when, when I you love started, cooking. you like cooking. <laughs> so you're 11 when you started to cook, if you're on TV show at the age 11. So when you started? I started when I was about three or four. My dad's a chef, so wow, he started me four. cooking pretty young. Oh, I three or four, wonderful. So what else do you cook at home? What, what, what do you like? Cooking, except uh, on this, of course. I really like cooking fish, and I make a very good chili. Oh, fish! Do you like fish? Yes. Kids and parents. Has a like fish, which is maybe a little bit unusual for <laughs> kids, but but I am proud. It's great. Fish is amazing. Amazing for your health, so don't don't miss the opportunity to eat fish, you see? Hazel knows how to cook. Maybe at our next show you'll cook us fish. <laughs> next time you're around. Yes. <laughs> do you like to bake or do something? Yes, I like to bake a lot. Lot. <laughs> so your parents are lucky that, uh, that you you make meals for them? Yes. Okay, please take a look. What's this? 
enough or more? Yes, that looks good. That looks, looks good. And the mm -hmm. onion goes here or here? Um, half the onion. Okay. You can chop half of it up and that's going to go in there. And then we can put a little bit in the salsa too. What is salsa and what is not salsa? This is salsa? That salsa. That salsa, okay. Yes. <laughs> a big, big uh, specialist in this it's kind of Mexican, right? I like it. Yeah. Oh, I love it. But don't usually make it. So, now I'm cutting half of onion. So, you cut it into cubes and use mash it mash it okay and you want to grab some onion from me yes oh, okay. i'm going to finish mashing it first i see and i'll finish cutting cooking is great i love cooking also well, I wasn't three or four when I started, but maybe 15. And it's, you collect recipes, right? The onion is making my eyes water. Ooh. Yes. Right. I think it's enough, right? We're not going yes. to cut. Otherwise, we'll start crying here. So I, I put it there? Uh, yeah. Enough, no? Um, yeah, that's probably enough. Now here, too much onion. Hard to say. Oh, yeah, we'll start crying now. Yeah, <laughs> I'm starting to cry. <laughs> well. All right. I think that's good. That's good. Well. All what? right, so next I'm going to cut the lime and I'm going to put lime juice and a little bit of water to thin it out in the guacamole with some salt. Oh, okay. And do you want to grate the cheese? Yes, I am. This okay. is my job always, grate the cheese. And I always recommend kids and parents, preferably do it by yourself because many manufacturers produce, um, when it is shredded already, uh, the starch add it no, to keep it uh, shredded so be very careful it is very pity to eat starch with the cheese so if you have an opportunity oh uh, has it brought us sharp cheddar cheese probably can use another but sharp cheese definitely for oh lime amazing so I am grating the cheese on the big grater. This is interesting. I've never heard that um, water is going into guacamole. Well, looks so good. And it's interesting how uh, flavors are incorporated. It's lime and all this. I believe this one's the salt. Salt. Yes. And if you need black pepper, it is here. If you don't, mm -hmm. it's okay too. You see, it takes just several seconds to grate the cheese by yourself. So, always right. do it by yourself. The guacamole and the salsa are ready. Okay, I'm behind. I need to speed up the process. Right. Okay, what are, what are we going? Uh, what are we doing? Next. So next we're going to add the shredded cheese, the beans and the meat, and then we are going to put everything back in the oven for about five minutes so the cheese can get all melty and it'll reheat kind of like the beans and the meat and the chips. Okay, so let's, yes. let's have some space here and so we'll do it. Our chips came out of the oven. And you can sprinkle cheese. Oh, the cheese goes first? Yes. Ah, I was thinking cheese goes last. 
Oh, the cheese is so nice. Okay, just on each one? You can just put it all over. Oh, all over? Yes. Oh, should we arrange them better or? No, that's all right. Because it will be you on the paper, no? Kind of sprinkle it. Oh, there, yeah. Do oh, it. Right. <laughs> You're better than this. Oh, amazing. I am absolutely new to this amazing and healthy meal. You see? You have vegetables, you have chicken meat, you have cheese, beans. What can be better? All right. Oh, perfect amount. Then you can kind of add on the chicken. I love it. I'll make it. At home. It's great. I don't think we'll need all of this. Okay, this is. Yes. There, yeah, let's distribute all because these are not. Yeah. Okay. So just a uh, like little amount, not the whole bunch of this. Yes. Okay. And, then and beans. Okay. We're going to sprinkle black beans. Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right. And what? And then we're going to put this back in the oven for about five minutes. This looks so good. Look at you! Look at this meal we've got! Thank you so much! Look, it's amazing! So, what are we doing? Eating. Yes. <laughs> so, what what is the way to eat it? Well, you could... These are... Mostly, you eat them with your hands. Okay. So, you can just pick one up. Ooh! Oh, oh, they're very cheesy. It's so great. And then, okay. you can add guacamole and salsa on top. On top of this? Yes. Okay. Whew. Why? And salsa on there. Oh my goodness. Guys, you have no idea how it smells all. And it looks cute. Green, red, all this yellow. Right. Oh, yours is amazing. Okay, let me try. You are the mag magician. It is so good. It's delicious. Not salty for me, but don't look at me. I always said salt. <laughs> it is so crispy. You know, it is the best nachos you can eat. They are so crispy. And don't forget that Casey brought us whole grain I just thought that it is the healthiest choice you can ever make yes thank you so much I just I just learned a lot from you thank you so so much you were watching taste of change for kids we made several changes here we are not eating unhealthy nachos we are eating healthy nachos and um, chicken also instead of maybe good choice you can find the recipe at uh, weightdestiny.com and you can find more videos for kids and parents at actontv.org. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. <laughs> My pleasure. Okay, visit us later. Thank you.